QR codes are everywhere nowadays. Let's see how we can generate them in our systems. Now for this, we are going to use a plugin from Forge. For those of you who don't know about Forge, Forge is a community repository where we have a lot of plugins available. The one that we are going to look for is a QR code generator. Uh, we can use the search bar here to look for specific things that we need. For example, the one I'm going to use is this QR code reactive. This works on the reactive web application as well as mobile application. Uh, there, there are a few ways you can install this uh, plugin on your environment. You can go ahead and install directly in your ID or you can download it for a later use and install it separately off, in offline ways. Now this particular plugin uh, is very convenient to use. It has a few input and output parameters that we can use. Uh, I have gone ahead and installed this on my IDE environment. Uh, once you've installed, this is how it appears. By the way, Forge is also available directly from your ID under this tab here. So the same functionality is here as well. Now what I'm going to do next is uh, uh, build a application where we can display the QR codes. So basically I have already created a reactive web application which has an entity called customer with these attributes. What I'm going to do quickly is create the customer listing and detail screens using the uh, platform accelerators. Uh, the listing screen is fine and it's on the detail screen, which is where I want to display the QR code. Now for this, first of all, we have to link uh, or add a reference to the QR code uh, plugin that we have added. We'll use this uh, manage dependencies uh, icon here and look for the QR code. Now this managed dependency is quite powerful. It allows us to reuse anything out there in our environment which is meant for reuse. So this is the one QR code. Apparently it came with a demo as well in case you find it difficult, you can look at that. But it's it basically there's a, there's a block, there's a web block that I can add a reference to. And once I do that, uh, since this is a block of uh, UI, it appears here right in my interface tab. Now to be able to display this on, perhaps I can display it here. I just have to drag and drop. And thereafter I have to provide the value. So maybe it could be the customer name. Now whatever is the value that you're going to provide is going to be converted into a QR code. You can go ahead and specify a bit more uh, you know, parameters here in case you need to. Otherwise, that's all it needs to generate a QR code. Let's publish the application and see the outcome. All right, launching it. So the first one is the QR code. If I go back, second one, that's another. Thanks for watching.